All right, so here's how I basically hook up my setup. Um, for most of you, a lot of people ask, do I need to have a Nord or do, do I need to have a Motif? No. Um, you don't need to have these keyboards to be able to accomplish um, sort of what you need to accomplish as an auxiliary keyboard player. Um, if you have two keyboards, you have one that has a good pad sound and you have another one that has a good string sound, you can MIDI them. And um, for those of you who are a little more advanced, this will go, you know, this will be boring, but a lot of people do need to know about this. Um, the, the MIDI cable, which is what I'm using here, basically allows me to transfer information from this keyboard to this keyboard. And the reason that's important is because I can play uh, this keyboard on the bottom and it'll send the keys information to this keyboard on the top and it'll allow me to play the sounds from this keyboard with this keyboard. Uh, so right now, I'm, I'm hitting these keys and nothing's happening. And if I turn the volume up on my piano over here, it'll let me play it. Um, it'll let me play these sounds. And the, the reason why that's important is because then I can still take a sound from here and play it. So if I have a pad sound on this keyboard, you know, and I have a string sound on this keyboard, I can play them together. Um, and I can control the volume of those, those two things. And, and, you know, you can have more instruments. You can have a B3 if you want or different things like that. If you're playing auxiliaries and you're just getting started, a pad and a string is a, is a great place to start. The Roland, you know, the RD series, all of those guys have good piano sounds in them. Um, what I try to tell people is um, pick a keyboard that has an onboard.